You're not hearing my voice though if it's that screen. That's silent. Yeah. And we're and and I don't think they hear my voice. I'm pretty sure it's it's muted on the feed here. Silent start here. Let me turn this up. Make sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can hear me. He, does he know how to show me? <laughs> We're just getting started here, guys. We're rusty. It is the Hake Report. It is Thursday, November 28th, 2022 AD. Can you hear me? Press one if you can hear me. Yes, we hear, says Base America First. Thank you. Um, when does live start? I see a rerun. Well, it should be live now. I see my I see me on D Live. What's up, guys? Whoosh. It is Thanksgiving Thursday. As I said, November 24th, 2022 AD. And it is the last hake of the week. You just heard the last Jesse Lee Peterson show of the week if you were listening to the live show. Or if you listened to his podcast, which will be up later. Going to have a fun, loosey-goosey Thursday show for you guys. I have a guest host with me. I will introduce him shortly. Uh, he co-hosts, he guest hosts, a co-host with me. He he guest hosted for me November 11th, a couple of Fridays ago or something. And let me just tell you quickly what we're going to cover, what we're going to try to cover. Um, the first Thanksgiving history. And on Thanksgiving, on this Thanksgiving, shortly after midnight, a Me Too woman sued Trump again. <laughs> Uh, can't get Trump out of their heads. It's so funny. And Trump has a nice tip for you on the FBI. White sports going bad. I got hockey hair. Yes, I do. I do not have hockey hair. That's a, uh, what people call a mullet. And some other things that I will will hopefully get to. Transgender mess. Poor transgenders. Um... All that and your calls. But anyway, guys. Oh, man. I forgot to start. (laughs) What a mess. Let's get right on with the show. Bump, whom you will see very shortly. You can call in 888-775-3773 if you're listening live, if it's the audio podcast. You can't call in. You can try, but you won't get through. Oh, it's the Hank Report, the Hank Report, la la la. How are you guys doing? I am fine. Yeah, I'm wearing a degenerate Abercrombie and Finch, Fitch, wow, uh, t-shirt. And, uh, and, uh, I am back from having a beta back and, uh, and three surgeries. I co-hosted with, you know, I need my co-hosts as a crutch because I need to hobble and ease back into this. (laughs) <laughs> it's hosting mess. And uh, Joel Friday co-hosted with me. That was very fun this past Tuesday. And I have with me now Big Bump. He is get he guest hosted for Hake on November 11th, Friday, November 11th. Follow him at Big B I double G B I G G underscore Bump on Twitter, on IG, Instagram. Uh, he's on SoundCloud, he's on YouTube, and many other platforms. Welcome, Big Bump. Thank you, Hake. I appreciate it. Um, good to be here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, I'm ready. Nice. Whenever you are, huh? <laughs> Yeah, and you guest hosted for me 
on a couple of Fridays ago right now. And I appreciate that. That was cool. Sure thing. That I was your debut. Yeah. As a uh, as a guest host. Yeah. To this day. <laughs> <laughs> and you, I didn't know that you were a pro. You said you were a pro football player. Yeah, it was a brief, brief stint. Um, it was an arena football that I was playing in at the time. I was uh, the team was in San Francisco. They were called the Bay Bandits. So uh, it only lasted a couple of weeks because the team folded. The owner didn't have enough cash to fund, you know, to pay for the league, the league fees, and then the players. Um, yeah. It was only two hundred bucks a game, and then staying in in the Bay Area is, you know, <laughs> doesn't cover that. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> um, and I was strictly football at the time, so I wasn't working. I yeah. was just trying to go to the next step or the next level, and um, it didn't happen. It, it was, it was, it happened the way it was supposed to. Yeah. Because things changed after that, but um, yeah, it was arena ball. The team folded. Uh, he still had like a semi-pro football team, but that's not what I was into. I wanted to try to make the money off of it. Okay. Yeah, so that was early, like the 2000s, 2000, 2001. So you would have been, uh, you would have been in your early to mid 20s by that point. Uh, three, 20, yeah, yeah. Okay. About 23-ish, 24. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Did you go to college? I did. Uh, after high school, I went to a historically black university. Oh, down <laughs> south somewhere. And, huh? Yeah, in Daytona Beach, uh, Bethune-Cookman College is what it was called then. It's like Bethune-Cookman University now. Does that I, count as the south, Flor those areas of Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Certain parts of Florida don't count as the South, right? Because <laughs> they get so taken over by the by the foreigners, you know, the Cubans. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, yeah. And the right, retirees and right. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah, I get that, that aspect of it, yeah. I was up northeast in Jacksonville, so that's, I guess, it's more closer. South? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I did that, and then when I came back to move with my father, I went to... Pasadena City College. Nice. Where you went also. Same here. And then yeah. uh, Cal State Northridge. Oh, okay. So I didn't play for Cal State Northridge football. I did play for Pasadena City College briefly. Nice. Um, and that was, yeah. Um, then, uh, then that's when I just decided to do the professional, try to go the professional route on my own. Yeah. 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 And you said you could have done pro baseball had you stuck with that instead. Yeah. yeah. I don't know I I don't know if it was peer pressure to to stick with the baseball or to stick with the football and get away from the baseball but yeah. it was just that's it that was that in Mon Did you go to high school in Monrovia? No. Okay. I was in Florida also when I went oh, to okay. high school, yeah. Um uh so yeah, I I was I was pretty good at football. And real good at baseball, but scoot that this way. way to get more centered. I All like right. to have it, and you can you can adjust the mic move. You can move it that way. No, you can move it this oh. way. Actually, get right. it out of your face. Okay, right on. But you can bring it close to your mouth because you talk you talk kind of low. Right, <laughs> AKA Ben Carson. <laughs> ben Carson. <son. laughs> Jesse barged in when you were a guest host, yeah. and he's all, "Say it with your chest." I was. That Little was the problem. A, and we're, and go. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that I came up with it, but I got it from a black. <laughs> Accordingly, because <laughs> they have the best phrases. Right, right. Yeah, they're so clever with it. Yeah, yeah. they speak so stylish. Yeah. <laughs> very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> very, very entertaining. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I just enjoyed football more. Uh, yeah. And the baseball team was a better team than the, our our football team. Right. But I still wanted to play football. Yeah, and, when I was in high school here, over in El Monte, just right. 30 minutes that way, mm -hmm. I was in cross country. And the cross country team at a Royal High School was mm -hmm. better than the football team at a Royal. Right. Which the football team wasn't bad, but it was always like a rivalry, and we would get mocked as all cross country runners get yeah. mocked for being. Is that a real sport? Right. <laughs> <laughs> football is cooler. 
<laughs> but we were, I don't know, in our minds, we were cooler than the football players. Right, yeah. <laughs> but we had a crazy rivalries. People, we dug up the field, not me, but some of my former teammates dug up the field X and put XC, X for cross, C for country. Clever. Into the... <laughs> Into the uh, football field, and some of them got suspended or yeah. banned from the campus for that. And right, yeah, yeah. It was a mess. That's funny, yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know that about you, and I also didn't know that about your awakening, your journey into knowledge. <laughs> right. Uh, starting with my competitor, <laughs> Alex Jones. Yeah, man. <laughs> Back in the early 2000s after 9-11. Yeah, after the 9-11. The truth. Yeah. The, the info truth. war. Yeah. You, you, can't, you got into the info war. Yeah. I was heavily into it. Um, I, tea Party. Nice. Deal, libertarian. Um, and So you were a Ron Paul guy? Oh, man. Yeah. I, nice. That's the actual, after like someone called that two weeks ago and asked about voting, when I voted in 98, that was the first time I ever voted. And then until 2008, I didn't vote. So that whole 10 year period, I didn't vote. I wasn't, I was like, like I said, I was libertarian. Yeah. Ron Paul came on Tea Party and freedom. It was like freedom, freedom, liberty. I, yeah. I, that's that's what it is. And um, so I just gravitated to it even more so. Um, and and uh, did the, the Ron Paul vote. Uh, in 08 and 12. I think I voted in 12 also for him. Okay, so you didn't fall for Paul Ryan oh, pretending no, no, to be no, a Tea no. Party no, guy. No, 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 And Mitt no. Romney. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not <laughs> Like I bit. did. Like <laughs> JLP and I did. <laughs> no way, no how. That is funny. Yeah. So you saw right through those yeah, fakes. It, it, yeah, definitely. Wow. I just knew they were fake. So I just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of knew they were fake, yeah. but I but I put up with it, and I was like, "This mm-hmm. is the best we can get." And I thought that Ron Paul was just a silly old man at that point. <laughs> I mean, he might be, but he's right in a lot of he's, the stuff that he says. Yeah, and it's I hear I've heard some of the stuff that Asmodor has put up, some old clips of him. Yeah, I'm like, "Whoa, this guy was right." <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a a popular uh, C-SPAN. And he was at the in Congress. He did a speech called Neocon, and okay. it was 1990, maybe. Yeah, it's on C-SPAN right now, uh, and it's it just alludes to what's going on, you know, in the 2000, 2008, you know, yeah. 2010. It, you know, just going on, and uh, yeah. So that that just shows also that to me it show it showed how he was right on, right on, you know, right on. Yeah, you know. Yeah, seriously. Um, you know, it is Thanksgiving Day. We're 15 minutes into the show. That means we're one-eighth pa- of the show is over. <laughs> so we got to cover some of the content that you and I came up with. And you guys can call in 888-775-3773. Uh, we may cover more about what I learned about Big Bump and what you guys may have learned as we go forward. But... You brought a story called The First Thanksgiving, Mm -hmm. History of the First Thanksgiving. And it is a little uh, document. What is it from? What is Um, this? What is this website? Let.rug.nl. What I had. And it's the First Thanksgiving Proclamation, June 20th, 1676. In Charlestown, Massachusetts, the Governing Council held a meeting to determine how best to express thanks for the good fortune. I have a little headline on this, yeah. Hassan, who's operating the board for us here. I think it's um, at the bottom of this. The first Thanksgiving proclamation. How best to express thanks for the good fortune that had seen their community securely established. By unanimous vote, they instructed Edward Rawson, the clerk, to proclaim June 29th as a day of Thanksgiving, our first. That proclamation, man, how far Massachusetts has fallen, right? Mm-hmm. That proclamation is reproduced here in the same language and spelling as the original. And it starts out, uh, The holy God 
having by a long and continual series of his afflictive dispensations in and by the present war, double R, with the heathen natives <laughs> nice, <laughs> right. of this land, <laughs> written and brought to pass bitter things against his own covenant people in this wilderness. Wow, so they're calling themselves his covenant people, like the Israelites. Like the Israelites. So the true Israelites were the American colonists <laughs> uh, in the, his, this wilderness, so that we evidently discern that, discern that in the midst of his judgments he hath remembered mercy, having remembered his footstool in the day of his sore displeasure against us for our sins, with many singular intimations of his fatherly compassion and regard, reserving many of our towns from desolation threatened and attempted by the enemy and giving us especially the late with many of our confederates. Nice. Base confederates. <laughs> this predates the... That was like a yeah. couple hundred years. Right. Almost. Many signal advantages against them with, without such disadvantage to ourselves as formerly we have been sensible of, if it be the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, it certainly bespeaks our positive thankfulness when our enemies are in any measure disappointed or destroyed, and fearing the Lord should take notice under so many intimations of his returning mercy, we should be found an insensible people as not standing before him with thanksgiving, as well as lading him with our complaints in the time of pressing afflictions. I have very poor reading com uh, comprehension, mm -hmm. but I understand that they're saying we better be thankful to God. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what I saw. <laughs> yeah. When I read it, yeah. That is cool. <laughs> and it goes, oh, it's only one more paragraph. Nice. Based early Americans didn't write pages and pages and pages like Obamacare. <laughs> How many pages was Obamacare? It was like a stack. Like, I remember the what I thought were beast conservatives, like Paul Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> talking about how many pages Obamacare was. Obama doesn't care. So let me finish this. The council has thought meet to appoint and set apart, and I don't have the rest of it screenshotted, uh, the 29th day of this instant June as a day of solemn thanksgiving and praise to God for her such his goodness and favor, many particulars of which mercy might be instanced, but we doubt not those who are sensible of God's afflictions have been as diligent to espy him returning to us, and that the Lord may behold us as a people offering praise and thereby glorifying him. Man, this is all about God. All about it. The council doth commend it to the respective ministers, elders, and people of this jurisdiction, solemnly and seriously to keep with the same beseeching that has that being persuaded, persuaded with a W, by the mercies of God, we may all, even in this whole people, offer up our bodies and souls, souls, souls with it, D, as a living and acceptable sacrifice unto God by Jesus Christ. Wow. On June 20th, 1676, the governing council of Charlestown, Massachusetts, held a meeting to determine how best to express thanks for the good fortune that had seen their community securely established by unanimous vote they instructed Edward Rawson, the clerk, to proclaim June 29th as a day of Thanksgiving, our first. That proclamation is... Oh, okay, they already... I wonder if that was duplicated. Nice. Yeah. So they ended with Jesus Christ living... Offer... Hold on. Even as this whole people offer up our bodies and souls as a living and acceptable service unto God by Jesus Christ. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, thank you for sharing. How did you come across that? Uh, news aggregates, one uh, that I follow. Um, it, And I, I remember seeing it a few years ago. He posted that um, the first Thanksgiving was in summer. So June yeah. 20th. So I seen that. I was like, oh, I remember something about this. Um, so that's what made me uh, link to it and, and uh, bring it up. And I thought it was real interesting um yeah that is specifically the summer theme being during yeah, the summer June 29th. yeah and then also this was this location in charlestown yeah is bunker hill so that's where the battle of bunker hill took place also so that bunker a lot of hill history. was that one during the revolutionary yeah War? yeah uh, 75 i think it was if, if not a year but a few months for sure somewhere between a couple months to a year battle so that took place 
Uh, what, what, 100 years later? Hunter Hill? Roughly, roughly 100 after, years later, right. After this yeah, Thanksgiving yeah, celebration. Yeah, yeah, And they and they, they were amidst a, a war with two R's with right. the heathen natives of this land. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Just right at it. Just just pretty much telling you like it is, you know, how, right. how things were, how the natives were when they came here or, you know, yeah. while they while the separatists were here, you know, yep. they seen that, what was going on, how savage the Yeah, the, the merciless were. Indian right. savages is, <laughs> as the 100 years later Declaration right. of Independence said, right. called it. <laughs> Man, that's wild that people lived 100 yeah. years before something that happened 200 years before I was born. <laughs> or more. Right. Man, that's wild. It that's is. cool. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was real cool. Um, and like I said, they, they, or well, I didn't say, but they, you were saying that God is the structure of the whole, right, uh, of Thanksgiving from this proclamation. And, um, and it, it's profound, basically. Yeah. yeah. I was, is Twitter aflame with anti Thanksgiving rhetoric? <laughs> Probably <laughs> so, right? Probably. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I almost want to search it, but we yeah. got to plow through a lot of content here. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah. You know what's going on before I get to calls, and I have Super Chats to read as well, guys. You can call in 888-775-3773. But what else is happ- what's happening today in Thanksgiving by a woman... I have this pick 1A from the uh, E. Jean Carroll folder. According to Rolling Stone, E. Jean Carroll, Rolling Stone is a far left fake news outlet. They put out fake news about a a pre-Me Too claim about a rape on a college campus. E. Jean Carroll is a woman who filed a new lawsuit against Trump on Thanksgiving a few minutes after midnight. And there she is. Uh, the former L columnist. L is a magazine. And, uh, sorry to all the people named L <laughs> whose name is muddied by this L magazine. <laughs> columnist E. Jean Carroll is suing our greatest president, Donald J. Trump, for defamation and battery under the new Adult Survivors Act. <laughs> <laughs> They call victims survivors, people who think of themselves as victims. They call themselves survivors now. And this woman, she, tr- she made history or the mm. news. She went viral a, couple, a few years ago, 2019. But here's pick 1B. She tweeted this out, E. Jean Carroll, because she's on Twitter. And she's a blue check mark. Dearest friends, tonight, a few minutes after midnight, we filed the rape Rape! Mm-hmm. Another woman, another white woman, crying rape against a, a great white man, against the former president. I give thanks to this greatest, to the greatest civil rights attorney, meaning communist attorney, hmm. in uh, attorneys in the nation, Robbie Kaplan, which is a woman, Matt Craig, exclamation, Joshua Matz, Sean Crowley, S-H-A-W-N, Rachel Tuchman, Tuchman, Tuchman. And uh, she shares her Substack. She shared a sub. Hake is on Substack, by the way, and so is Bond. Bond Rebuilding the Man and the Hake Rapport are both on Substack, but so is E. Jean Carroll. Substack is a website for writers. <laughs> uh, writers. <laughs> Thank you to the greatest civil rights attorneys in the nation. And so pick one C is her little... Uh, is her little saying her little substack and she wrote this little rich this rich line that I thought I would share with you guys the new suit may ruin the former president's thanks thanksgiving <laughs> she thinks so highly of herself <laughs> that she thinks that she's ruining trump's thanksgiving but it will be nourishing nourishing to every woman who's ever been grabbed, groped, harassed, pinched, prodded, assaulted, smeared, or dragged through the mud by a powerful man. <laughs> man, what a mess. Oh, for sure. These Me Too ladies. Yeah. You know, I saw a, I was driving home from the doctor yesterday, mm-hmm. I think, and I saw a 
advertisement called, she said, for this movie that's coming out or something mm-hmm. like that. Maybe it's a TV series. How one woman's something started a movement. And I think it has to do with the Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine, yeah. <laughs> but it's such a mess. And so I have a little flashback clip for this nutty lady, E. Jean Carroll. Clip 16, Hassan. This is from 2019, I believe, shared by the Washington Free Beacon. And it's a CNN interview with Anderson Cooper. By the way, the... Okay, I'll get to that. Her lawyers. Um, Trump sexual assault accuser. A little, little snippet from her interview with Anderson Cooper talking about her rape. (laughs) And what she thinks of her rape. Uh, Uh... She's actually a sensible young lady. <laughs> Listen to this. Victim. Funny. You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished. Which, the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. It just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not I think most sexual. people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I like how she has this, like, lost look in her face. Yeah. Like, I, I have that, too, sometimes. Like, I get, <laughs> like a deer in like headlights, <laughs> lost look in her face. Just a nutty woman. <laughs> You're fascinating to talk to. But what's funny is what she said was true. Right. Is, is, is that there's all these fantasies mm-hmm. about rape. Right. That the women have more so than the men, I think, sometimes. Yeah. Probably more often, especially <laughs> nowadays. Uh, and so I have a, I'll have on my blog post on thehakereport.com the full video, a link to the full video. But that's so funny. <laughs> I have some little... Before she said that, apparently, there were all these tweets. Go to two through seven, pictures two through seven of these, well, little headlines from over the, from during this time, 2020, 2021, and some tweets. E. Jean Carroll accuser, Trump accuser, there she is, (laughs) looking all lost and wild-eyed, wearing a mask during the China virus, with her curly hair and... Little pink thing and and wearing like a a pantsuit thing, looking right. like Joker actually, <laughs> Joker dressed like right. that with this purple suit thing, purple tie. Uh, but she tells the truth <laughs> <laughs> Ex- about the rape fantasy, not about Trump. I don't I doubt her story for some reason. Yeah, but uh, yeah, sh- just kind of plow through these. This is an AP article, E. Jean Carroll suit against Trump to proceed after a judge dr- rules against the DOJ. This was the Trump G- DOJ back in 2020, uh, defending the president from her, being like, oh, you can't go against, you can't be suing the president of this mess. This is a distraction. Or something to that effect, I don't know. And a, a liberal judge, corrupt liberal judges, allow these suits to go forward. So lame. Uh, go on to the next one. Here's her Twitter profile at the time that I last covered this story. Uh, Hail, friends. Atlantic. Vanity Fair. These are all her little, this is her resume. New York. Ex-advice columnist at Elle. Esquire. Outside. Rolling Stone. SNL writer. Oh, she was funny then. (laughs) And book. What do we need men for? And she has on her Twitter banner a photograph of her with a bow and arrow. You know, women are supposed to be... In the, at least in the fantasy books, good at bow and arrow for some reason. I don't know if it's true. 207,000 followers back then. Wow. Good job, E. Jean Carroll. Good for her. (laughs) Uh, This was 2021, June 2021. Even the Biden DOJ continued defending Trump in the defamation case involving E. Jean Carroll. Wow. Good for them. Even they knew it was, this lady is senseless (laughs) when it comes to smearing Trump. For some reason, a lot of women like to accuse and hate decent men, strong men. 
Okay, so here's the tweets. This is Mary L. Trump. This is Trump's niece, our greatest president's niece. E. Jean Carroll is a warrior. This was back in like 2021 or 2020. Uh, and we will prevail, but the appealing decision by the something Merrick Garland's DOJ is a wake-up call. The DOJ needs to clean house. We've got your back, E. Jean. <laughs> And that's Mary L. Trump. This is the lady who accused Trump of saying the N-word. She's a Black Lives Matter supporter. She, her, hers. Is she a lesbian? Why does she have like a, uh, a million followers? She has a rainbow radical homosexual <laughs> flag in her thing. Just, uh, I just had to share some of these old tweets just to show you these nutty people. Robbie Kaplan, a woman, a lawyer, probably not a Christian. Mother, wife, lawyer. Um... It's horrific that Donald Trump raped E. Jean Carroll in a New York City department store years ago, but it's truly shocking that the current DOJ would allow Donald Trump to get away with lying about it, thereby depriving our client of her day in court. This is a lawyer. Shouldn't a lawyer be disbarred for that type of smear? In the good old days, we would have. We wouldn't have probably allowed a woman to be a lawyer. <laughs> be a lawyer. In the good right. old days. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. D don't, do don't show that one yet. That, uh, is there a... S let's see. I think that's it, actually. Okay, yeah. You know what? You want to comment on that before I go to that, to that one that you just showed, Hassan? The one comment I do want to make is yeah. when she was speaking the interview with... Uh, what's his name? Anderson Cooper. Yeah. When she said what she said, <laughs> the way he responded, it, <laughs> sounded, it just sounded like... When I first, uh, when I did the show that Friday, a couple of Fridays ago, uh -huh. he was like, uh, 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 that's how I, <laughs> that was just funny. You felt so awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird and awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Well, yeah, Anderson this, Cooper. <laughs> this hag, she's just, um, she it seems like, of course, that Trump derangement syndrome. Yeah. It, you know, it, that hate for him, uh, just all levels. You call her a hag. You don't think she's mildly attractive? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, that reminds me of something that I think Trump said at the time. Uh, Trump denied the allegations, said Carol was totally lying, and commented on her appearance. I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. <laughs> Trump told the Hill. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? <laughs> so I guess Trump agrees with you. Right on. She's not his type. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't recall what she looks like. What she looked like in the '90s or whatever. But yeah, I may have seen a picture, but uh, right now she looks like a hack. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough, man. <laughs> I got nobody on uh, Team Hake taste. <laughs> so anyway, let me get to uh, this quick little story before I get to calls and uh, super chats and stuff. A little flashback from Trump and the DOJ. We saw a screenshot of his um, truth social thing. Um, on the FBI, don't talk to the FBI without recording the conversation. They lie, says our greatest president, real Donald Trump, the other day. Nobody should ever be interviewed by the FBI, the corrupt, liberal, deep state FBI, without making a record a recording of the interview. The FBI doesn't want recorded interviews because that way they can make up statements as to what is said. What is said happens all the time. Our corrupt, quote unquote, justice system is at work today like never before. FBI offered Jonathan Steele $1 million to lie about me and paid a Russian 200000 paid a Russian $200,000 to get Trump. Failed to find anything on me regarding the January 6th hoax or the document hoax. That's Trump on Truth Social. And he retruthed it. And I apparently Hake might have retruthed. I oh, know. I you know what. I liked it. I didn't retruth it. But for some reason, it looks like it's green, like I retruthed it. <laughs> retruthed is kind of like retweeting because Trump is on Truth Social as his social media platform. Nice. And that is good advice. A lot of people get caught. That I've seen lawyers, you know, I, I, one of my sources is Asmodorf. Right. Uh, and he shared this video of these two lawyers saying, don't talk to the cops. <laughs> and they're cussing and being a little <laughs> right. bit vulgar, but it's a good point because yeah. the, 
the cops, especially nowadays, mm-hmm. and especially the higher up you get, the yeah. more federal and state. Yeah, definitely. And also local. They support their own jobs, what they're about, and what their bosses are about, and what mm-hmm. the politicians mm-hmm. and, and uh, government employees, other government employees are about. Yeah. Don't talk to the cops. Yeah. And the FBI are probably one of the most corrupt, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know. I, I believe so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. think about it. They have these weak people. I covered it. I used to cover it all the time. Right. Like, Jim Comey. <laughs> He's supposedly a Republican, but he's a total rhino. He's a, he's a switch hitter <laughs> somehow, like a transformer <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, like he has this wife and these daughters. Mm-hmm. He's a Republican, but his wife and daughters <laughs> were out doing a oh, right. women's march yeah. the day after Trump was right. inaugurated. inaugurated. Yeah, Women's march, pro-abortion, mm-hmm. and he's a Republican. Yeah. Tall. Right. All Statured. that height. Yeah, right. All that. Well, he doesn't look very manly. But he could, if he were just stronger, you would be like, you would see this strong spirit in him. Right. But he doesn't have a strong right. spirit. He's so weak. <laughs> and weak people just are vessels of evil. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's for sure. I, yeah. I see that in him. And, you know, you just see it, the evil. When you see it, you know. But right. that's just a, a, like you said, the stature, he's one of those where you see, oh, that's wasted talent. You could have played basketball or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> He'd probably been better off playing basketball than an FBI director. Yeah. <laughs> He's one tall glass of water. <laughs> you know, and Christopher Ray, Chris Ray, yeah, Chris Ray another right. supposed, is he a Republican, I think? Is appointed he? I by know. Trump, I think, right. to replace. Well, to replace. To replace uh, Jim uh, Comey, James Comey. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that guy is like anti white, total Woke. weak person. Yeah. And uh, so for that reason, KT's kind of right. KT from DC, I argued with him about uh, Trump. Right. And I still love and support Trump. I'm going to vote for him. Somebody was asking, what, what, who would KT from D.C., my caller from a couple of days ago, at the, toward the end of the show, who would he vote for? Because he said he's not going to vote for Trump. That's how disillusioned yeah, he is. Yeah, he did say that. That's, I don't want to call that disillusionment. I would call that di- overly disappointed. That it, well, he is, for sure. Yeah. He, yeah. He's, he, it seems like he's done with the whole... Right, the because whole, who's better... Even just even in the face of everything that he said, granting it practically everything he said, mm-hmm. if not everything, who is a better president in our lifetimes? It, there's only one, the Great White Hope. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's undeniable. I don't know, right? How how you would be able to to determine otherwise? It it's obvious. Yeah, it, it's obvious. Was Reagan good? Do you know? Are you aware of? Uh, yes, I think. After him being shot, it seems like I don't. They I remember Reagan being yeah. I remember Reagan being president, and um, when I was younger, me too. But um, now, you know, older, realizing things and reading things, that it definitely broke his spirit after something happened. Yeah, definitely he something got soft. happened. Yeah, he interesting. Made, yeah, and it was a ricochet that went into. Wasn't it a ricochet that got into his ribs somehow? I don't know where it was. I. I don't know specifically yeah. where he was hit. And now he's a that James Hinkle, Hinky oh, yeah. Jr.? Uh, John Hinkle. John I Hinkle, yeah, yeah, yeah. John not Hinkle, James. Right? Yeah. And he, he plays guitar on, uh, on YouTube, and he, he, likes, he likes that woman from uh, Psycho, the original Psycho. Um, not Curtis. Um, what is the lady's name? John Hinkle Jr. Crush. Jodie Foster. Foster. Was okay. she in Psycho? I don't know. He saw her in Taxi Driver and began stalking her <laughs> to gain her attention. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like... I didn't know that. What a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Did he... I think that the Department of Education was started right before him, and he promised to take it down, but didn't. Or he wanted to take it down, but he didn't. He did want to take it down. I do recall that. And, yeah, it was started. It had to be started before him um, if he wanted, you know, if he wanted to take it down. I don't know how time-wise before he was elected. Um, But, yeah, he was he he seemed to be a pretty decent uh, president. I, I would rank him. Honestly, I would rank him under Trump. Okay. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, I remember, you know, how these blacks talk about, oh, I want somebody who looks like me. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I thought of Reagan as looking kind of like my grandpa. Really? And yeah. I thought of uh, that, that guy who hosts those war stories, or used to, he's old now, but he was uh, mm -hmm. on Fox News. Who's that guy? Who's that host? Yeah. Oliver North was oh, a big guy oh, at that during those times. I thought that yeah. he kind of looked like my dad. Iran Contra, Oliver North, right? <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't know what Iran Contra was, yeah. but it was like some scandal, right? Yeah. Having to do with guns and uh, Sandinistas and um... was it arming Sandinistas? Yeah, yeah. And the Sandinistas yeah. were they terrorists, or were they? Yeah, you can say that. Sandinistas is that Central yeah, South America? Central South uh, Columbia area, if I'm not mistaken. And what does that have to do? Why is it called Iran Contra? The gun running, pretty okay. much uh, money. Let me say, how to be specific about it? Money going, you know, just a transfer of money from the Contras, which were, the, the, if I'm not mistaken, the drug cartel type down there. Yeah, okay. down there, and then uh, money and guns going to. The Middle East, also. Oh, okay. So it was like just a, and that was Reagan. Was that Reagan that or was Bush under the Daddy? Reagan also, okay. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was under Reagan, the late eighties. Okay, I vaguely remember the yeah. term. I just never knew. I didn't keep up with this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I remember hearing it when I was younger, and then I, of course, got into it when I was older. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the basis, and it's just funny how, that that Oliver North is it seems like he's totally separate from the one present day oliver north all right it's it's it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's weird you know you know let things go sometimes but he was part of that scandal yeah he, he was, was part being... of the scandal. he was like the i guess his scapegoat in a sense he was like they were after him pretty wow. much not didn't seem like they were anyone going, else they yeah. weren't really going after reagan himself no i i don't no 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 not at all because Reagan had that charm of, there you go again, right. the media, <laughs> yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Wow. Um, interesting. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Like, he's gone through a lot, and now he's like, everybody loves him. Yeah. And he's like an adorable old, uh, older uncle, grandpa, or something right. like that. Yeah, yeah. That's Has some, like, simple day. wisdom to right. him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I've seen videos of him where he's like, some some guy comes up to him, I, and the security guard is, oh no no no, don't go to Mike. And he's like, I want to shake the man's hand. And nice. It, it seems like he's way more calm and yeah. And, uh, again, I don't know if it's the marijuana, but <laughs> he is a calm guy right and now. And he's gotten into like religion, different religion type things. He's a oh, Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. And the then Buddhist. he's yeah, he's into yeah. like maybe meditation or something. Yeah, yeah. And. I heard that he's a fan of the Fallen State, <laughs> which is cool. Cool. Yeah, 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 cool. <laughs> he had an interview with JLP that has not aired, but that's okay. Um, he worships the toad, says Hassan. Explain this one, Hassan. <laughs> Hassan's over here on the mic. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, he, <laughs> he talks a lot about doing ayahuasca. Oh, mm, really? And, um, yeah, some, he, call, he refers to it as the toad. I love oh, the really? toad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, my ego died when I went on the toad. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> <laughs> I learned about ayahuasca from a couple of people. Uh, Goldman Unleashed, which was a Manosphere former dating uh, dating pickup artist guy who was on the Jesse Lee Peterson show mm -hmm. years back, and he talked about ayahuasca at some point. And so I read his little story, and then I also read Mike Cernovich talking about ayahuasca. Which is this crazy thing in some South American country, I think, that you take it and then it makes you throw up and go into this uh, miserable state, basically. And this shaman watches you do it. And you kind of face yourself, supposedly, is the idea. And you see things about yourself and about reality, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, he, he talks about DMT, ayahuasca a lot. And then I think the toad is almost like its own separate, it's like a branch of ayahuasca and DMT where they're actually taking the secretion from the toad. Wow. And then um, 
you know, Rose. just like mushrooms. And toads have poison, some of them. Yeah. You're not supposed well, that's, to handle them. That's, the, that's, that's what's true. getting wow. them high. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Tyson seems less rapey these days, says DJ <laughs> on Paw. Oh, that's what I love about Tyson and Trump. Trump tweeted, I think, that, and he backed him up back in the day. He was friends with him, I think, that Tyson got railroaded. Mm-hmm. This, was in, this was a pre-Me Too thing that Tyson went to prison, I think, yeah. for uh, being convicted of rape. Right. Yeah. Cause she, but she went up into his room, yeah, I think. She did. What did she think was going to happen? Yeah, right, right. What? <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not for not do premarital it. sex. Yes. Right, right. Stop having sex out of wedlock. <laughs> Jail, Joel Friday had a great episode segment, uh-huh. long segment about not having sex out oh, of wedlock. Right, right. right. Yeah. But uh, but it's, they're smearing the man for what the man does that's wrong. But they're adding stuff that is wrong that he did not do, and they're not pointing out the the, the mm-hmm. stuff the woman right is doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But shout out to DJ on Paul. Nice to see you. Anyway, we got to get to some super chats, some calls. We're ap- rapidly approaching the end of the hour. Uh, Jeremiah out of Louisiana is on the line. Jeremiah, thank you for calling, man. Happy Thanksgiving to you. This is the day <laughs> the Lord has made. Indeed. We shall rejoice. And be glad in it. Indeed. And that's what Thanksgiving is all about. Did you enjoy that first hey, Thanksgiving where we. There's a lot of stuff we could talk about right I now. Know. You know that, right? True. We, the chosen people, drove out the, the heathen American engines. Nice. But anyway, that's not really what you talked about. That's it. Yeah, with a lot of stuff we can talk about today. <laughs> it's been some months. You miss me? It's a lot of stuff. I actually, Hank, you know what? I kind of have this, man. Just slicing and dicing yeah. all through everything you got to say. It's actually, it's, it's sometimes it's, I get a relief out of it because you put so much BS in the air. Bogus speech. Sometimes it's good to clarify it. Like, for instance. I told you that that scripture was in there, then I know where it's at. But you you know it's in there because you're a Protestant, right? You know where it something is, something like that, Lutheran or something, whatever you are. Yeah. But Simeon and Barnabas were called Niger. You know that, and you know what that means, right? That means. But you gave that us means that two guys were black that today. That means two guys were black. You actually gave us that today. <laughs> yeah, true. So you think there's you think there's no nobody else but Simeon and Barnabas that were that were uh, black. No, I don't ask. I don't assume anything. You know, Paul. You know, Paul. Oh, I try not to. So, so you know, someone. You know, a Roman soldier thought Paul was an Egyptian, right? An Egyptian? They thought he was an Egyptian. Yeah. And the Egyptians were white, right? Well, they were more. They were more Arab. No. A little bit. You know, Arab. back then. You know, back. You know, Egypt is a Ham, right? Hamite. So, Ham. and we know Ham. Y'all try to say we're Hamite because I don't say that Ham is black. I didn't yeah, know that Ham was black. I've heard you say it before. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've, uh, I have cool. joked around about the curse of Ham, right? Because he, isn't he the one that yeah. looked, looked at his naked, drunk father and told his brothers? And his brothers yeah. walked backwards with a, with, a, with a blanket and covered their father's uh, nakedness and shame. It's all good, though. Okay. You know, uh, say hi to, for say you hi to your, Big uh, Bump, big Jeremiah. Bump. Yeah, what's up? What's up? How uh, are you doing, Jeremiah? Lake, big Bump. What's going on? <laughs> I'm well, man. How are you doing? Uh, I'm 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 well, brother. I'm right. well. You know, just getting through this. Uh, you know, it's another day. You know, but uh, like I was saying, uh, I, I did want to say something about. Uh, I just, I, hey, Hank, God, wait. Uh, I don't want to talk about the Thanksgiving thing, man. We all know. We all know. What I wanted to uh, ask you was, um. It was something, It, was, it was just to stick to the subject that, you know, those two were called black, and okay. that's the only two you're going to give us, right? That, 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 that's, that's it? Well, I wouldn't, no, I'm not, I'm not assuming that those were the only two, but I'm also not oh, okay. assuming that, okay. that all fair or enough. even the majority were black. All right, well, fair enough. I guess you still have a lot of learning to do 
Um, True. Now, to, on to politics. Okay. Uh, do you do you like you like Trump over DeSantis? Yeah. How about really? you? Hey, I thought you would evolve. Hey, evolve. I thought this little this little hiatus of yours would have softened me a little bit. <laughs> no, I've only gotten harder. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I thought you would evolve. You know, Trump is Trump is obsolete. You know what I'm saying? Do, you got DeSantis you vote? is actually does not DeSantis is actually a he's gonna push Trump. You know his agenda or whatever a little bit better. He's a little bit younger, a little you know more vibrant. Sometimes. You think I so? think he would be a better candidate. For Trump. Do you, but it's gonna be do you real like entertaining? Then you call black people entertaining. It's gonna be real entertaining to see them go at it. No, Trump is entertaining. Tr- right? Trump is entertaining. Yeah, that's because very, he has black right. friends, I guess. There. Uh, there. Would you do you appreciate anything about both those guys? Do you appreciate those guys in any way? Do you support mm, them at all? I, no, I can't say I do. Do you vote at all? Do you participate in that mess? Uh, as a matter of fact, I would call myself a Republican. Okay. Right? Just to give you, just to throw that out there, I don't usually give that. But just to give you, just to give you a little bit of myself. That makes sense because I would call you are a Republican, but I, I think I'm independent. Th- because so it makes sense that you would be lean more Republican because you because believe in the Bible, basically, right? Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So the moral yeah, stuff it's... makes you more Republican. Right, but we're more of an independent now because Republicans are so just full of it. They're full of it. So, In what way are I they full know. of it? For example, uh, like, they're, example. they're hypocrites, just like the Democrats. Really, you know. True. I, at the end of the day, is you? They're both the same to me. That's what JLP so says too. Looking in. Us on the outside looking in, we can see that you know they're about the same, but it's a house divided still because of, I guess the morals. You know what I'm saying? The, the, right. the values and stuff. You know, which I I dig the you know the, the Republican side of the morale. So you don't but see I mean, yourself they're, they're as a hypocrite, hypocrite yourself. So, so what now? You don't see yourself as a hypocrite, just like they are hypocrites. No, I don't. How? Why, do you, why would you say that? I'm just asking if you do. I'm not accusing you of being thing? a hypocrite at this point. Oh, okay. uh, although I might, but but my yeah, point is you, you don't see you yourself are. as. As being a hypocrite, no. just like them. Why? Because you, because you, you, would, would you? You cut out there. What'd you say? Oh, he cut out. He's out in Louisiana. In the Hello. There you are. What did you All say? Right, you cut out, out there. there. Would Would you say I'm a hypocrite because of the how I feel about the enemy uh, stance or the enemy subject or something like that? Well, like, what, why would you say I'm a hypocrite? Uh. I think that in general, everybody's a hypocrite. Everybody pretends to be a, what, about what's right. They think they're they think that they're about what's right, but really they're about themselves. They're not. There, they're, it's only one right. Right? There's only one truth. You know that, right? It's not my truth. It's not your truth. It's right. not Big Bump's truth. It's not hey, ha, 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 Hassan's truth. It's not Nick's truth. It's not Jesse Lee Peterson's truth. It's not anybody's truth. It's one truth. Correct. What's the truth, Hank? Right? That you're not God, and you're not the I'm black not Hebrew Israelite. I'm not saying I'm God. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm God. But that's funny. You brought up the Hebrew Israelite thing. I'm, I'm right, black you said Hebrew Israelite, not black Hebrew <laughs> Israelite. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You're a how, Hebrew Israelite, not Kanye? a black how, Hebrew how do you feel about How do you feel about Kanye? So how, how they're treating Kanye right now? Um, I I like that guy. I've I've liked him for some little bit of time now. I didn't like mm. him back when he interrupted my <laughs> former favorite pop singer she's no longer my favorite <laughs> and when he said george bush doesn't like black people but i found out that he's right about that actually oh okay, okay. yeah he's yeah. right about that so but, you like, yeah, I, like I, I do that's, that's what's up. yeah and you know i can give y'all a little bit more kudos too because y'all have actually been um in the media you know fox and stuff like that they've actually been kind of Defending Kanye and Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? I can't even, I, I'm unbiased when it comes to, you know, righteous justice, you know, the righteous justice, I, I see, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't see how you can say I'm a hypocrite, you know? But, uh, good to get the, good, you know, because you're, to take on. but, you're, but you, you do have hatred in your heart, right? Don't you admit that? I, I have, when you say hatred, it'd be, it would be like a favor. Like, I favor Big Bump, even though he agrees with you. I don't favor you because you said too many things that it's like 
it's in my spirit. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't favor you. Matter of fact, it's like, and so you, it's a, it's a, it's so a what's, what's the term? Uh, it said it in Genesis where we would have that, uh, that, uh, basically that line between us for all, all, all time. And we, I read that, we read that before we went over. So you show favoritism? The enmity, the, en, the enmity, you no, know, yeah. You show I'm favorite. Sorry, you show. That? You show. Is that considered favoritism? Uh, yeah. yeah. And people. so you, but you have I'm, no I'm malice. A nationalist, Hank, aren't you a nationalist? Aren't you a nationalist? Yeah, I'm a nationalist too. That's all it is. Right, but I don't think that I'm better than than. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you do, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. You got me. Yeah. Uh, don't, so don't you have, but you have no don't malice. You have no, not, you, you have no malice I, in your heart. Look, man. Look, at the, at the end of the day, we did what we did to ourselves because we fell away from God's law. And we went, we fell away from the, the true constitution you and with y'all's constitution. You actually, you know I that? noticed that you so actually did didn't that, answer the question we did that, <laughs> about hatred and we malice. Did that, we, we did that to ourselves, you know. Um, hey, man. And, you know, I can feel some type of way that y'all enslaved us. Are you saying I can't feel some type of way that we, we feel enslaved no, today? No, 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 hold on. Because y'all Let, call it your, capitalism and everybody's real, enslaved now? Let your yes be yes and your no, no. Hatred and malice, you have them or not? Yes or no? Do I have hatred and malice? Yes. I have, yes, I do. Okay. There we go. Well, nice, man. Appreciate the call. It's good to hear from you, Jeremiah. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. You right. enjoy your uh, your bloody uh, feast, all right? <laughs> You know, what do you not enjoy that bloody feast, man? You eat meat, but with no. Blood. When you when when you when you when you bite into that ham, ham. Just remember this Christmas. this blood is soaked. This this soil is soaked in blood and bone. <laughs> All right, TMI. When you eat that bloody, when you eat that ham, I gotta like, go. You eat that swine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, adios, Just know it's soaked in, in blood, man. It's soaked. Okay, take care. Um, that's a. Uh, Please just dismiss this guy, says, uh, <laughs> says uh, Doom Jesus. Well, guys, I will get to more of your calls. It is time for the break just about here. Um, this is a track from uh, Big Bump. Let's go with the, how do you say it, fear, F-E-A-R. Yeah, F-E-A-R, fear, uh, fear everything and rise. Fear everything and rise. This is from Big Bump, B-I-G-G, Bump. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Got to take my break. The doctor said you got to take, get up and walk around for five minutes every hour. And then I'll get back to your calls and we'll get to more stories. Um, see you soon, guys. Have fun. How easy it is for the few to control the many. Because the many, you know, we laugh at sheep. Because sheep just follow the one in front. Oh, stupid sheep. We humans have out sheep the sheep because at least the sheep need a sheepdog to keep uh, them in line. You see the writing on the walls trying to focus Just cause their eyes are against you, you're not hopeless Over time, wounds heals the prognosis Open your mind up, that's the diagnosis Separate the truth from the bogus All the destruction in the world is atrocious They wag the dog hoping we don't notice Divide and conquer hopes to control us We're all under attack, whether you're white or black Yellow or brown, it's time to stand your ground Pound for pound, the system can't hold us down You see these two middle fingers, how I'm feeling now, can you blame me? Locked up like a cage beast, domesticating and saying me. You want a slave that ain't me? Break the shackles, just wanna be free. You want a slave, but that ain't me. What if we all rise up? If we all stand up? If we say we've had enough? Enough. It's time we all call blood. I won't percent there's more of us. Revolution on the cuss. What if we all rise up? Rise up. What if we all stand up? Stand up. What if we say we've had enough? Enough. This revolution on the cusp There's a war for your mind And the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time Tyranny and blackface is sublime And every time you open up your mouth it's a lie A marionette for the global bankers And even Jesus Christ with the money changes So they ask me, what's with all the anger? And I reply, can't you see they want to enslave us? Time to fight the powers that be And time to rise up, unite and take to the streets Put in fluoride right in the water to make a sheep GMOs and our food to make us obsolete One nation under constant medication Constant surveillance, constant vaccination Predatory mind, scientific equation
equations Put a stop to this global domination What if we all rise up, if we all stand up If we say we've had enough, enough It's time we all call blood For 1% there's more of us, revolution on the cusp What if we all rise up, rise up What if we all stand up, stand up What if we say we've had enough, enough This revolution on the cusp And those that cry to peace and peace Are hanged by those they try to please Bow to your master and fall to your knees I'll fight to the death, make the streets bleed Domesticate me like a caged beast You want a slave but that ain't me No ball and chains, I just wanna be free You want a slave but that ain't me Humans keep each other in line And we do it by ridiculing or condemning anyone who commits the crime, because that's what it's become, of being different. Very nice. That was fear, F-E-A-R, face everything and rise by Big Bump. Very nice, huh? And we have more Big Bump music to share with you. He shared more on his uh, guest hosting debut on the 11th of, of uh, November, I believe it was. Big Bump with the based lyrics, says Esoteric. Two Gs in Big, big g- Bump. <laughs> uh, yeah, bring a Big Bump on the mic. And by the way, you said everybody was possessed. Yeah, you talked about in the when you guest hosted mm-hmm. the first time, the last time recently for Hake, including your wife. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you said your daughters. Yeah, they're grown enough to be possessed, huh? Yeah, including I, go ahead, including uh, no, well, nice and uh, <laughs> because you and you yourself, you told you you told a story about going into the post office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And seeing a pro-life shirt that you thought was pro-choice. Yeah. Or you didn't think, Satan right. told you. Yeah. He, You're like, I know that doesn't say that. Right. I'm <laughs> looking yeah. at it. I know it didn't say pro-choice. <laughs> <laughs> and you covered Possessed Rain Wilson. Yeah. It's possessed the guy well. named Dwight in uh, the uh, TV show Shroop. The Office. Yeah. Dwight Shroop. Being all pro-climate hysteria. Yeah. And the people who pretend that... Uh, Baseball has a diversity problem. <laughs> it's baseball. It's not that it's important. <laughs> At all. <laughs> <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> and yet you made some interesting points about the baseball and how, like, the fathers, the civil rights movement took the fathers, well, bribed the fathers right. out of the home. Right. Bribed them to abandon their fathers, the blacks. And so they don't, they weren't good at baseball anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it Except for sense. that one guy. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> Decent very, player. very cool, man. Yeah, right on. You think you're going to continue uh, hosting and doing little uh, talks? As long as the opportunity is there, I'll take it. Nice. Uh, I, I got a little bug. It hit me uh, last, well, this week. I was like, man, I should just set up in the closet where I record and just do like 30 minutes live and see, yeah. you know, it, it was something that I enjoyed. You yeah. Know? And uh, so when you asked me uh, a couple days ago, I was like, yeah, sure. Let me just make sure things cool. Yeah. Uh, we weren't doing anything extra today. We'll be home local. Cool. With neighbors. And um, I was like, yeah, I like it. I right enjoyed on. it. I, I had a good time that day. Yeah. 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 It was pretty deep. It was interesting uh, hearing you, speak on and and you refused to babble which was which was <laughs> interesting too like there's a lot of moments of dead air and like yeah call in help me out guys right. <laughs> but i don't want to babble i don't whereas hake babbles <laughs> and you had this caller josh from georgia mm-hmm. formerly known as hake snake pit security guard now i think he's mildly attractive according oh, to him okay but he's all hake babbles but it's entertaining <laughs> It is, yeah. That's funny. Well, uh, speaking of entertaining, I got some super chats to read and calls, and we have more stories to get to. But I appreciate you coming in today, and sure. appreciate you guest hosting when I, I was know. out all those, well, one, one day when I was out all those months. Right. Some uh, supers from 
<laughs> Streamlabs based America First with a couple supers before the show started. It's been so long since the Hake Report regularly broadcast that Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger <laughs> still had jobs back then. <laughs> Wow, occasional throwback super chats will be fun and interesting to see how well they've aged like fine milk. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Well, thank you, ba- Based America First, and he's given a lot of super chats even when I was off air because you can go to streamlabs.com slash the Hake Report at any time, guys, and give super chats even when Hake is off air. Gave another award winning director of films Jaws and E.T., Steven Spielberg, releases a semi autobiographical movie. For this holiday weekend, aptly entitled Jews, also known as the Fablemans. Whoa. <laughs> Mama is the monster, and her anger destroys the paint on the house and the family. Wow, thank you for the tip, Based America yeah. First. Did you know anything about that? I, I've been seeing uh, the previews for it. The Fableman? Yeah, the Fableman. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, and Based America First is this, <laughs> also known as Jews. <laughs> What do you mean, man? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm interested. Even yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> that is interesting. Um, oh, by the way, tomorrow, according to Apple Calendar, very fake, is quote unquote Native American Heritage Day. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's today because we're the yeah, Native, Native right. Americans. Let's go. <laughs> we were born here. Our parents were born here. Our grandparents were born here. Ev Jenny Crosby with a diamond over there on D Live. Welcome back, Hake. I'm AFK, meaning away from keyboard. Hake always says, hey, guys, oh, AFK. <laughs> People are like, what is AFK <laughs> in the live chat? AFK, away from keyboard. And I appreciate that. You know what? I have a couple more Super Chats that I want to read from Based America first that I happened to come across before we get back into this content. Uh... Has anyone noticed that preppers frequently mention a zombie apocalypse? Now we have Joe Bama and Lesserman in office. Lesserman. Who's Lesserman? Do you know? Is it Fetterman, maybe? Oh, yeah. (laughs) And he is lesser than his wife. Oh, man. She runs him. Definitely. That is so wild. It is so apparent. And he's a liberal person. And he has a semblance of a manly look to him. Right. And yet... He's totally run by his wife, just totally catering to her. She speaks for him. And he's like, and this happens a lot with men, including conservatives, I think. Like, he's a vegetable, practically. Yeah. And she's still vibrant. She might be younger than him, quite a bit younger than him. She's the soul out of him. Yeah, and she's (laughs) kind of like Joe Biden. He he has 10 years on his wife. Right, right. But he's like decrepit. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. Yeah. Bill Clinton lost all of his weight, all of his life, too. Oh, yeah. And Hillary Clinton blew up. Yeah. And she still has an evil life in her. <laughs> yeah. And he looks sunken and like death. He looks like death, yeah. 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 And I've seen that over and over with people that I like, too, mm-hmm. is, is that the men are weak and their life is gone, and the women are evil and full of this evil energy. Vibrant, yeah. Whew. They're just... At it, you know, yep. the, the spokesperson. JLP <laughs> says that women kill men, wives kill their husbands, uh-huh. in that sense. In that sense, yeah, I got you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe these, maybe those preppers are on to something, says Base America First. <laughs> preppers frequently mention zombie apocalypse, and <laughs> Joe Obama and Lesterman are zombies. He's <laughs> interesting point, Base America First. Thank you, man. I will be reading more and more of your super chats. We have quite the backlog to get through. Man, okay, so, story or, let's get to a story. Um, This is a big bump story, and thank you for bringing some story ideas. I appreciate them. White sports going bad. (laughs) This is a little headline, (laughs) NHL. Oh, no, it's not. It's a couple of tweets from NHL, National Hockey League, on Twitter. And they tweeted first, let's see. Do you have the? Oh, there it is. The NHL is proud to support this past weekend's Team Trans Draft Tournament in Middleton, Wisconsin. Wow, Wisconsin being desecrated. 
violated. <laughs> this was the first tournament comprised entirely of transgender and non-binary players with around 80, 80, 80 folks participating. Hashtag hockey... What does that say? Can you help me out? For hockey is for everyone. Hockey yeah. is okay. for everyone. Hashtag NHL Pride. N A NHL Pride. <laughs> Thank you, Hassan. Hassan helping us out. And so this person named Code, also known as Blue Mountain 12, tweeted in response. This was a couple of days ago. So men playing on women's teams? <laughs> 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 and it has like 21.1 thousand likes, which is rivaling the number of likes of the NHL blue checkmark tweet. It says 21.2 thousand likes. And uh, so this got so much, this irked <laughs> the person running the official NHL Twitter so much, which has to be a woman running this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Trans women are women. <laughs> Trans men are men. Non-binary identity is real. <laughs> Responding to this guy, this is a nobody, meaning a normal person like us. Well, I am somebody, right? Uh, yeah. Such a good song, right? <laughs> is that Jurassic Five, um, or, or is that they oh, did they man. rip it off of somebody else? Somebody, <laughs> Pasadena. They, oh, man. Everybody say, like, I am. From oh, yeah, they used to wear sandwich signs in the Civil Rights Movement go. and said, yeah. I am a man. From uh, Jesse Jackson or someone. That's where okay. it really came from. <laughs> I remember Jesse Jackson came to the college I went to, the black college I went to, and that was, I am. He was doing it to, you know, 18 and older. Uh -huh. I am somebody. Like, <laughs> why do you need to tell us that? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. When in, I think Paul said, I am nobody. And right. King David said, I am nobody, mm -hmm. I think. And... JLP says there is no you mm -hmm. to, uh, but these people are full of yeah. ego. Yeah. They want to feel like they're somebody because they lost their, I their identity yeah, was stolen from them, <laughs> their language, their, their gods, their yeah. kingship, <laughs> when they were stolen from their land. Kunta, Kunta, Kunta. Toby. Whoosh. Hey, it's easy to go back. Yeah. And take that True. Much. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And so these, also, these transgenders have a, this false identity. Yeah. And the non-binaries have a crazy false identity. Yeah. They and do. the uh, women kiss up to that false identity. Mm-hmm. What a mess. Yeah. It's all screwy. And I noticed that the NHL, after a while, they restricted the replies. Did to they? I didn't tweet. notice that. <laughs> show, that, show that last tweet again. Uh, uh, two, clip, uh, pick two or whatever. NHL tweet too. Oh. <laughs> Who can reply? People NHL follows or oh, mention can right. reply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. They had enough. But they had a bunch of replies. Yeah, People were did. like, yeah. <laughs> you're silly. <laughs> so poor NHL, poor yeah. uh, race car people. And, uh, NASCAR. NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. And I, I sent that to you because you had mentioned with uh, Joel a couple days ago that and the NHL has like they're like the the last sports right uh team or sports organization or whatever to you know not go so woke right but, you know apparently I've seen that and said oh this has that's to be. over <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap yeah <laughs> what a shame yeah yeah it is nine or three thousand says Jurassic Five nice Hake yeah did you like Jurassic Five I I still do well nice I don't dislike them but right you know, on I don't listen to them like yeah. I used to yeah. right yeah. Oh, uh, man. Let's get to some calls. Appreciate that story, Big Bump. I have mm -hmm. other non-binary and transgender <laughs> stories that we may get to. Right. But we have a ton of calls to plow through. Um, Art is in Ohio on the line, wants to talk about a particular old man. Art, how are you doing, man? Man, what's up with Hey, hey, hey baby, baby? <laughs> Not much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Man, happy Thanksgiving to you. And, and I just came and I just came from the gym and I got some of this good things American Thanksgiving. Shout out to the Native American Indians and shout out to them uh <laughs> them colonizers. They don't they sure don't make men men like they make men no more, do they? Yeah, That's we true. need to bring that back. At least the few need to bring that back. That's true. Oh man, they don't make that. 
what happened to them? Uh, what happened to them strong American Indians and them strong uh, American whites and them strong American uh, Negroes, man? Holy! Yeah, that's such a good point. Like yeah. all three of those people have just become sh- shadows of what mm-hmm. what they once were, or what we were, they were once were. That's why JLP is rebuilding the man. That's what Bond is doing, rebuilding the man by pointing you back to the father. That's cool. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I was just thinking about something or whatnot. You remember when Nancy Pelosi uh, ripped up that paper behind Donald Trump or whatnot, and I said, why is she acting like that? Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff she's been doing. She act like she really like him, but she don't, she, we, everything she's doing is to act like she's against him, but when she really like him, she really jealous because he's married and happy, and she, and her her marriage ain't her marriage is messed up, so she want to try to make everybody else's life miserable because her life is miserable. Interesting. And why do you say that her marriage is messed up? Well, hold up, <laughs> big bump, uh, Lord Bibby and Hake, my producers. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sing this to you. Okay. Well, well, well. Keep it on the Oh, that's why you say it. Nobody has to know. Ouch. Because uh, her, uh, her, her alleged husband is riding the magic gay bus with that her boy, his boyfriend. <laughs> you think yeah, that's true? Yeah, that's what know, it is. Man. Maybe. You might be right. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's. I thought that you were going to say because her husband is weak, he has to drink to to remain married to her. And get away from allegedly. The allegedly, he uh, well, got well, well. <laughs> And uh, he was getting beat up by this person who, yeah, people are speculating that he may, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, he did. Interesting. Yeah, he got beat so, up in uh, his own home by somebody who was a guest of his or an intruder or both. Alle- allegedly. I'm, allegedly. I'm thinking that uh, don't nobody be getting beat, uh, somebody getting assaulted and they let you come to the door to answer the door for the car. That sounds like some secret lover. But why did they, what yes, a weird story, are. though, that... <laughs> Thank you for the singing. Very nice. Entertaining. Yeah. Uh, what a strange story. And that story kind of disappeared. They were blaming MAGA for that, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that guy was, what weird, That guy allegedly had some certain... Maybe he got he started to get red-pilled, and so he turned on, on his former friend. <laughs> I don't Ooh. know. Oh, Sam. Sounds he, about but, right. But he beat up Paul Pelosi, allegedly, according to the totally not corrupt San Francisco police. And uh, he needed surgery. That guy needed surgery. And he's Who not did? Uh, Paul Pelosi. Didn't he need surgery? Oh, I think, he, I think yeah. they did say that. Yeah, according to them. Yeah. W- yeah, strange, strange story. Strange things are happening. So, so I just heard something when Nancy Pelosi was bringing... Uh, Blaming the uh, stuff that happened in Colorado on uh, on uh, the MAGA, but last time I uh-huh. checked, dude, the dude that was in Colorado is a uh, is on the Magic Gay Bus too, or would not. I'm not and sure then, what uh, the truth is about that either. He so much. he uh, he may well be. It, when I heard that story, and I will get to a little bit of that story, <laughs> we heard it on the Jesse Lee Peterson show too. The Colorado in Colorado Springs, a, a so-called gay club was shot up by this guy who now claims to be non-binary or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what about then? I'm looking, I mean, and even with that, I mean, I'm just looking. I, I know a, fem, a feminine male face and uh, how, how they move and how they look and vice versa from uh, an alpha, you know what I mean, how they move and how they look. Uh, some man, he don't look like nothing about that says alpha you know what i mean or uh, it looks like a straight beta boy and then the stuff that happened in uh virginia or whatnot with the stuff in walmart that dude looks a little bit suspect to me too he looks like he on the magic gay bus allegedly too well I'll uh, tell all you, this th- as, uh-huh. as jlp says anybody with anger is a woman any man with anger is a woman and you have to have anger to be killing people murdering people like that yeah. So yeah, I know. I know what you're doing. Everybody, the feminine spirit. You know, 
satanic yeah. spirit. But everybody else might not see and know what's going on, but uh, if, if you got eyes, you will see, and it's clear to see what's going on. Virginia, Colorado, and a lot of these places have been pushing this Democratic, uh, LGBT, O-L-M-I-Y, all that stuff. Uh-huh. And uh, once again, you're playing the game with the devil, trying to pacify these weirdos, yeah. and they come in to collect. And I'm not running from no uh, no uh, uh, magic gay bus riders or whatnot, so that y'all keep picking on your little your Democratic friends or whatnot. We know what's going on, but uh, y'all don't come around here messing with Artie Art because we ain't playing it. Uh, that's the first thing. Yeah, and, 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 one and Colorado, has a, Colorado has that guy, who, a male, calls himself a homosexual with a husband. Governor. Probably mm. not a Christian. Mm, 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 Did you know mm. that? No, You said the governor's a, a, a radical what? Homosexual, according to himself. What? Oh, well, Jared sure, no. Polis. What, Polis. What, what, you, what, what you think is going to happen? Shuts Polis. Shuts Polis. Probably not a Christian. Can't be a Christian. Yeah, I, if he's a uh, if he's a, 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 a magic gay bus writer, he ain't no dang old Christian. Yeah, and he dang sure ain't no Negro Hebrew Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> so I don't know what he is. Yeah. He, and, uh, what's up with that one? I think it was one of them poly, female politicians. I don't know if it was Marjorie Taylor Greene. So she was putting a sign up on her office door saying something about. The, it's only two sexes, female, male, and somebody kept putting stickers over the female. And she's on there crying, talking about she's scared that she might be on the elevator with. And this is my problem with letting females in the stuff. And with, with a man, if somebody, if I'm making a sign and somebody's putting stickers on my sign, okay, oh well, I'm just gonna go get another hundred signs. And yeah. every sticker you put on that sign, I'm gonna just go have another one to replace that sign that you put a sticker on. <laughs> she's on here making a big complaint about a dang on sticker over females, and this is where politics and a lot of society is when it's going to win so soft or whatnot because they've been uh, pandering to these females, letting them into all this stuff. And, I mean, it's stupid. You can't yeah. handle no real business and get nothing done because you got a whole bunch of soft males and a whole bunch of soft females. Very true, man. What a shame. Terrible shame. And I'm going to say one more thing, and I'm off here, uh, Mr. Hank. All right. Uh, you, uh, you Negroes and you whites, uh, I don't know what to tell you. You better go into that gym because... Them uh, Mexicans, Africans, and them foreigners coming, they all up in the gym, and uh, it's going to be a lot of ass whooping going on around here. And I don't think it's going to be no the foreigners Sorry, getting beat kids. up. I think it's going to be a lot of you soft Americans that's been uh, following this agenda. Y'all soft, man. Y'all don't want to work out. You're lazy. And these foreigners coming over stealing right from under your nose, and they yeah. in the gym working out, and they ain't no soft for these niggas. But God bless you, hey. Uh, with, uh, God bless Mr. Bump, Nick, Joel, Jesse, uh, Daniel, and whoever I missed in that production studio. Y'all have a good Thanksgiving. And uh, tell Trump we still rolling with him. And uh, we anybody that come up against Trump, I, I'm the best at uh, class clowning or whatnot. So we just going to clown you, and we're going to laugh all the way to the bank. We're going to clown you. We're going to talk about you. So God bless. I'll catch you later, uh, Mr. Uh, Je- uh, not Jesse, Mr. Hayes. Thank you, Art. Appreciate it, man. Great call. And, and, shout, and shout out to Lord Bibby, too. Pass me another Art Wiser. <laughs> Have you been on those Art Wisers? <laughs> man, I ain't been on them because you've been gone, and Lord okay. Bibby ain't been able to pass them to me. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Take care. Uh, all right, buddy. Art. All right. Adios. Art from Ohio. Thought that he Love was it. on a... Thought that he was on Nick's stream saying the A word. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. We don't cuss on the Hague Report. <laughs> Is that considered cussing? To me, I thought it was cussing. Biden, <laughs> Fetterman, 2024. It's a no-brainer, it's a no-brainer. says Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the one that uh, Art forgot about, but he mentioned him by saying everybody that I forgot. Um, Nick says, no ham, just Shem. Was, was it the curse of Shem and not the curse of ham? Is that what you meant? Oh, eat ham. We don't eat ham. (laughs) That's funny. The blood of the land. (laughs) The blood on this soil. Anyway. uh, Let's get to my favorite caller on the line. On the line, it's Mays in Dayton, Ohio from the sundown town. How you doing, Mays? Hello, James. I'm glad you're happy and back. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I heard what you said about me. That yeah, sometimes is, you have to be punished for your evil deeds. <laughs> right. As long <laughs> as you have hatred in your heart, you're going to have that broke down body. Well, <laughs> my hatred, don't, if I got hatred in my heart, it's a different kind than you have. Right. And um, and I have a question for Big, is it Big Bump? Yes. How did the civil rights movement move the men out of the house? How are you doing, Maze? I'm just marvelous. Right on. All right, say it one more time. I'm sorry. How did the civil rights movement move the men out of the house? So are you, do do you know? I'm going to uh, ask you that I, I, I just heard you say it, so yeah. I'm asking you. Oh, how. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Okay. So was. You want to explain what I know? No, no, um, you don't have to. I want to hear your story first. That, um, as I was saying, that the welfare system was to eliminate the men, to give the women uh, that opportunity, what? that money, that uh, that they have to be single, basically, with whatever kids to obtain that check. Really? Get it? Is that not true? No. It's not true? No. The way the men got removed out of the house is that when they were Republicans and they switched over, they lost their jobs, and then they had to go to other places in different states to get a job so they could make money to, to take care of their families while they were away working. That's what moved the men out of the house. <laughs> I've never heard that before. So Where did you that's, come up with that's, that? That's, that's, that's the uh, it, so that's in this. So that's that in the South? Flat. You're saying that's in the South, huh? Because in the yeah, they cities, they came from the south and went to the north, just like they going from the north, going back to the south to the property that they have and all of that to reclaim it, because they didn't give it up. But it seems like in the cities, was this was the outer wedlock births worse in the cities than in the, the south? Than in the south? Than in the south? The north? When the outer wedlock births, just like I say, you look at uh, Clinton, Bill Clinton, he had an outer wedlock. No, I'm talking, but we're talking about the blacks. That's, that's, he had a black son. And then you talk about the, uh, the one that was in Carolina. He had Allegedly. a black daughter that was out of wedlock. So, as I say it, so when you're talking about out of wedlock, when did it start? Did it start when the woman didn't have a choice or people was taking it from them? Or did it start when they were freely doing it? So that's what, that's just, those are fables that what, you hear. What is the choice? They spread it along so the you, way. Where did you get this? Don't know where did you get the idea? That, along with them. Hold on. Huh? Where, where did you get the idea? So are you saying that the whites... The white Democrats yes. in the South, the Dixiecrats, if you will, I guess. No, the white Democrats in the South fired the blacks who went, who went from... They switched over to wait. the from, 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 from the Republicans, from the Republican Democrats. They would not give them jobs, and they lost their jobs, and they would not hire them. Wait, who would not hire so them? Did you know wait, wait, wait. The now I'm confused. The, the House and the Senate. It was just like it is so now the, with the Democrats. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So... According to, do you believe that the Dixiecrats in the South switched from Democrat to Republican? I said when black people did it. No, I'm no, but, but do, I'm asking about the, the whites. Did the, I'm wh what, but uh, did the white Democrats in the South switch to being Republican? Yeah, some of them did and some of them didn't. Some of them are still Dixiecrats. And so are they the ones who fired th the, uh, yes, they the would vote? not hire them, and they moved to the... Why do you think they went from the south to the north? They didn't go to just be going. They went to get jobs. And then again, in, in this country, there used to be like a, a CWPs and, and black people. That's all CWP we had to deal with. CWP means Caucasian white people, according to me. And that's all we had to deal with. So the civil rights movement was not about what you say in uh, Big Bomb. Yeah, it, it was. was about it mistreatment was. It was and working people for nothing. That was the only thing. So you, so they had, so when, you they, when they was the civil they got rights them a movement whole lot of school, a whole lot of school teachers. Was the civil rights time. was the civil rights black movement? No, 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 no. They got rid of a lot of black school teachers during that time. You see, you talking about what made the man lead out. See, y'all don't like to. to oh, hold on, really hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did the black school teachers lose their jobs during they the civil them. rights movement? They fired them. Who fired? Them? Like you know, like uh, who fired? First, them? Yes, fired them. Not, that's right. They closed the schools down because of the civil rights movement. That's when the education is that because of the paid. civil rights movement? Because of forced integration? No, the civil rights movement started over some young lady that was being had been abused. That's what that started about. 
it wasn't about moving the man out of the house. But I'm saying, why no, you think I'm the talking about integration. The, the so-called civil rights movement was about integration, putting the blacks really? in the white schools. It Is wasn't that about no the, integration. Hold we, on, Mays. We hold on, Mays. They wouldn't have integrated. Mays. Who integrated, uh, James? Mays. Who did you integrate? The they had everything they needed. They the didn't whites. need nothing from nobody. The, the whites and the dumb blacks who participated in the civil rights movement did the integrating. The really? So-called, no, they the so-called whites. We don't... The not, so some the, of them were not, not separated in the first whites, place. I would say. Some of them were not separated in the first place. Because what you think for a lot of people, like I told you... Uh, but you, you you're you jumping around, Maze. You, you always jump around. I'm explaining something to you. No, I'm explaining something to you. <laughs> you know that statue that they took down? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're making all these accusations that blacks are no, getting not, fired. Man, you yeah, you are. You're saying blacks got fired by whites in the South. They did. They wouldn't hire them. And why you think they moved? And you why said you blacks, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And okay, you said blacks, on. and you said black school teachers lost their jobs. Why did, they lo- lot of them why did they lose their jobs? Because of integration? Yes. Because of integration, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's the and so-called into, civil rights movement. They didn't integrate into the, they didn't integrate into the black school. That's they the so-called the civil WP. rights movement. So, so you blame the civil rights movement for that? Them losing not their blaming jobs? anybody. I know. I know history. Is the civil rights movement re- responsible for blacks losing their jobs because of integration? No, it's not. Wow. See, you can't be honest. <laughs> what you mean? You can't be honest. You just, James. See, you don't want to. If you can't, if you don't learn and see what a mistake was, well, you, you, can't, just, you can't. You, you just you, taught I mean, you me something that you, you're, you're now denying. Stuff. And then that's why you get envy. Envy. And all this stuff. Just like I said, it used to be just black and white. Then they brought everybody else in, mixed them on, the blacks and the white. And then they, they're not really, uh, 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 how do I put this? They're not really upset with each other. You have somebody in the mix to keep them upset with each other. Because everybody don't feel the same with it, the stuff that you hear on the media, and like Fox and ABC and NBC and all those. And then you look at Trump. He was a Democrat. And then he went over to be a, a Republican. Right. So the Democrats stopped liking him. Because he became more mature. For what reason? He became a man. Why they stopped liking Trump? Because they were all in love with each other and did things together. Whatever. Why? 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 Why you think that happened? And then you look. He wouldn't choose. The <laughs> Can choose, you keep up? The, you know what she's talking about? She can jump through a thousand things. Yeah, you jump around too much, Maze. Oh, you, you have so I'm many just, points that you want to touch on. I'm not on. trying to hold up. The, I'm not trying to hold you up. I'm just trying to get you to think for yourself <laughs> and let let people think for you. <laughs> where'd you get Where'd you get the notion <laughs> that the blacks couldn't get hired because they turned Republican? What? Do you remember because where when they you, switched over parties, that's what happened. Where did you learn If you this? knew history and you look and you read stuff, you would know. We <laughs> done two sets of books out there. From, it's got one set y'all got and one set we had. Maze, where did you get that from? Where did I get it from? Yeah. It's called uh where did I get it from? Yes. Where did you it's get it from? It's called an ebony book. The ebony book. It was three <laughs> it was three of them. You get you, you you used to get three of the books that you could buy the whole three books. And it got one the Congress used to look like it do now, but they were Republican. They were black just like it is now. Different from the magazine. So now I look at it, you know how I is look at it. Is that ebony magazine or ebony ebony book? No, 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 no. They're called books. Is that your They're life? binders. Is like that... books. Okay. They're actual books. In them. And there's three of them. See? Three volumes. What? Or three yes, uh three volumes. Editions. And they ripped a lot of money too. Because you know how to collect. And that's books. where you got that blacks were f- Blacks, no, I didn't didn't, get that. I blacks got weren't bribed out of James. black fathers. Black mothers weren't bribed to kick the fathers James, out of the home, I and the fathers why, fell for it. It was. I you, it was mainly did, per maze. James, it was mainly blacks had to. James, like go I told you, Robert work. Lee's granddaughter. I know her. You know what's so, interesting about what you say, Maze. There was no father in the house because of her mother. I think I'll have to make my point after I. So hang do up you get it? <laughs> <laughs> I know you make your point, but I'm asking you a yeah. question. Why do you think they went from the south to the north? Looking for work? Uh, and why were they looking work for work? and degeneracy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because so the, the, the blacks in the north were they much came more back corrupt. And got them. More quickly corrupt, I hear, now, than the blacks in the that? south in the city. And why would I be mad about that? And what happened with the with the uh, civil rights movement? They took them from their gardens. They had their own, they growing their, they had their own food and everything else. So when they can't the food and put it in this grocery store, that's how they lost the things that they had. And started taking care of other people with their money instead of taking them care of themselves with their own money. That's what happened there. Interesting. Very simple. So the civil rights movement was no good either. No, I didn't say that. It w- it had its it had its they eagles. Have, they didn't have rights to do nothing. They had plenty of rights. It wasn't about sending you, nobody. You, pe- you were alive before the civil it rights movement, right? It wasn't about sending nobody's counter to eat. 
Because you ran out of black women back then in the kitchen cooking. Did you live... So a, they wanted some of the food, all they had to do was go to the back door and get some. Did you not <laughs> have to get off the uh, curb for the white people passing by? It was so simple. By? <laughs> Maze. I'm just telling you. Maze. Maze. Didn't you, you have to... Better, you Maze. Better. Maze. What? Didn't what? you have to move off the curb, off the sidewalk for the whites passing I, by? I don't move off the sidewalk for Did nobody. you as a kid? Oh, yes. You had to go in the back of the line. You went to the... Was that before the... Was that store. before the... Anywhere you went, you had to get in the back of the line even if you were there first. Nice. Was that before the... You know, 15 came behind, in front of you. You had to stand back there in the back. It didn't make me angry. Good old days. <laughs> No, was, that be- old days. was that before no, the so-called no, civil rights movement? What? Was that before the so-called civil rights movement? And when you spoke of Ali North and yeah. Iran Contra, he's changing this up no. again. No, no, no. I'm, I'm getting what I heard heard him say. Go ahead. When you speak of Ali North and Iran Contra, yeah. Mm-hmm. What did that do to the black man? I have no idea. No, the black I'm man would have did that on himself if they were huh? involved. If they were selling, how did he do that on himself when, listen, when it was put into maze, the neighborhood? Maze, 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 maze. They didn't bring Maze. no crack into the community. Did you ask me a community question? That was put into Maze. the community. Maze. And I didn't know if Maze. it was a part of Maze. Maze. If you, Maze. Well, I'm going to put you on hold if you don't be quiet for a big bump because okay. he doesn't have his louder voice. Hold on, Maze. I'm going to okay. put you on hold if you don't be quiet. Okay? All right. Okay, so listen to Big Bump make his point, and then you be quiet, okay. and then I'll let you make your last point, and then we'll hang up. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So if that... if. The drugs came into the community. Wouldn't it be on the person to say, "No, I'm not going to take that," or "Yeah, I'll take it. I will sell this, or I won't sell it." Is it on the individual? Everybody didn't. No, no. But is it on the individual? No, it's not. If they would, if that's what they wanted to. How it was set but up for them is to do. it on the individual to say yes or no? No, it's not on the individual. Why is it some not? Some it is and some is not. <laughs> Why is it not? Depending on how desperate they were to get some money. But oh, is it desperate, like rappers, so that makes it okay? The rappers, the rappers came in, listen to Kanye, the rappers came in, what did they do for them? Put them in the community. That makes it okay they were desperate? They Maze, Maze, that, huh? makes it, that makes it okay because they were desperate? So, so, not they're okay. not, just like so the that makes them not the, responsible because they were desperate? Yeah. They're not responsible? It's just like the opioids. They're not responsible. Hold on, Maze. They're not responsible because they're desperate? No, they're, they're desperate people do a whole lot of things. Everybody not desperate. So they're not responsible. The blacks are not responsible. Yes, they are responsible. For participating. They're responsible for it. And I'm saying, like, they when, are it, when it comes to the OBR epidemic, hold on, hold on, go back. Let's go needles. back to Big Bump. Big Bump makes it, wants to follow. Now, why do you think about that? No, epidemic? hold on, uh, Maze. I'm putting you I'm home. answering the question. I don't know what that question was, but the, the OBR epidemic. To, no, no, we're not they talking about. They want to give them needles. Let's stay, the stay, stay on the crack. They want to give them needles to bring them back. I put Maze on hold because we don't have time for this mess. Maze, it is an individual. It's a responsibility of the individual to say, yes, I'm going to take the crack. No, I'm not going to take the crack. Yes, I'm going to sell the crack in my community. No, I'm not going to sell the crack in my community. That falls on that individual. It's not, granted, the government set it up that way, but it's up to the individual. It's, you have to take personal responsibility. Yep. That's, that's it. It's not more than that. It's not less than that. Just you have to take personal responsibility. No matter the desperation or the bribe, no matter the desperation or the bribe or the poor raising or whatever. Whatever. Uh, last word, Mays. I'm gonna leave with this. <laughs> if it was responsible for the person that did it, why do y'all blame the whole community for everything that happens in the community? If it's if it's one person's problem, that's what I don't get. And I will not sell my soul or sell my my voice. To no crap to do something for somebody for some money because it ain't that important. Nice. And if all of us was like that, somebody wouldn't be making money off of us or all our people. So all right. That one, y'all have a good one. You too, man. Right on, Happy Maze. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> that was Maze fun. In days. All right. Maze has us in a daze. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting little call from Maze in Dayton, Ohio, the sundown town. <laughs> Cool call. Yeah. Thanks, man. She doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving. She celebrates birthdays only. Right. I have heard her say that. <laughs> okay. Before we get back to calls, um, you brought up that uh, transgender non-binary NHL story. Well, I have a mm-hmm. story, too. Commie Nonsense Network, CNN, attacks a non-binary fellow murderer. Mm-hmm. Alleged murderer. Alleged fellow murderer. And I say fellow murderer because CNN... I say, spiritually, are murderers. 
They're for abortion, killing mm-hmm. the babies. They're for the LGBT mess, killing the souls. They're for Black Lives Matter, killing the souls with hatred and lies. Terrible lies. They hate Trump and anyone who hates, as JLP says, and as Jesus himself said. If you're angry at your brother, you're sta- you are answerable before the Sanhedrin, just like a murderer is answerable before the uh, court or whatever it is. So clip 12, I want to play from, uh, shared by Brandon Strzok of the Walk Away movement. Commie Nonsense Network anchors, CNN anchors, quote-unquote misgendering the Q nightclub killer. This is the mass murder that took place over the weekend. I didn't cover it. Um, In a Colorado Springs club that was for the uh, not morally straight people. And they're refusing to use the supposed preferred pronouns of the alleged mass murder. What's up with the transphobia, CNN, or non-binary phobia? Phobia, <laughs> asks Brendan, Brandon Strzok. And here is the clip of uh, this woman who uh, is talking on CNN. Here it is. So attorneys for the accused shooter, Anderson Lee Aldrich, say in new court filings tonight that the suspect now identifies as non-binary. In a footnote to a motion asserting legal privileges, the public defenders say, quote, Anderson Aldrich is non-binary. They use they, them pronouns, and for the purposes of all formal filings, will be addressed as Mix Aldrich. So in other words, not Mr. (laughs) or Ms. Joining me now, CNN political commentator Errol Lewis, also back with me, Al Franken and Joe Walsh. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, that's not anything that we had heard from his background. You know, people have been looking into his background. And uh, I don't know if anybody here, are you guys lawyers? I mean, you know, I don't know if, I I don't know what to say about that. I mean, that's what he's now saying. It it sounds like they're trying to prepare a defense against a hate crimes charge. That's the least of his problems, legally speaking. But it looks like they're trying to build some kind of sympathy or at least confusion on the question of whether or not this was purely motivated by hate. Such a, I mean, that is what it sounds like. We'll wait to see. Then that's from MRC, Media Research Center, Newsbusters. They got that clip from Kami nonsense network and that woman i forget what her name is that host anchor woman yeah I forget she uh she looked not amused by this <laughs> news it, it reminded me so much of 10 years ago or so when that guy yeah who um, went to wikileaks with the information on the oh. uh Air raids hurting civilians, American oh, right. military air raids hurting yeah. civilians. What's that guy's name? And he became a, he got oh. let out of prison by Obama. And, uh, oh, um, Manning. Yeah, Brad- Bradley, Bradley Manning. Manning right, he right, turned right. into Chelsea when he's about <laughs> to go to prison. So he got to go to a woman's prison because he didn't want to get, well, I don't know. In prisons, <laughs> stuff happens that shouldn't be happening, I guess. Um, and uh, he didn't want to, in my mind, this guy wanted to, <laughs> but, but he stuck with the act afterwards. Yeah. He calls himself Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea Manning, and he ran for a Democrat office. What a sucker. Yeah. Um, and so it, it was suspect to me, but maybe it, my mind lied to me, and maybe he really did think that he was a transgender. Yeah. And I don't know what the real story is with this Q nightclub killer. <laughs> But it was so funny. And JLP played the clip. Let's play clip 13 real fast. Uh, Mostly peaceful memes and Ben Q tweeted these clips from CNN. They go to this so-called transgender commentator on CNN (laughs) who says you can tell by the mugshot that the shooter shooter of this this, uh, club isn't non-binary. Look at at this. (laughs) Um... Complete ludicrous. <laughs> um, I believe they're just saying that because they want to have um, the easy way out on this. Um, that's really, really um, offending, especially being a transgender woman myself. That <laughs> a male, which it was obvious with the mugshot, that's a man. That's not a yeah. non binary person because, in no way, shape, or form, could they appear as a woman the next day? Um, it's really offensive to even hear that, that they're playing that role. Um, and if they're non-binary, why would you go after the club where you feel safe at? 
why would you do that to a community where you are welcomed in? Crazy. That right. is, and I owe an apology to my poor audience whose eyes were just violated if they watched that. <laughs> and ears violated. <laughs> Ear rape. Sorry, kids. By this soft voiced, lilting voiced, <laughs> obvious. I, I want to say, he says, why would you do this to your community? At least and, that that guy, that person, <laughs> respected the pronouns. They, he used they. <laughs> nice. Right on. Um, I'm going to say, it just goes to the blacks. They do the same thing, you know, just like the Walmart shooters. That's allegedly he's black. Right. Just doing the same thing. You know, you go into your community, you're going to do it. If you're hateful, if you're evil, you're going to do things like yeah, that. Yeah, you That's hate everybody. It yeah, it, it doesn't discriminate. Right. Yeah. There was a... Uh, Glenn Greenwald, this independent journalist right. guy, he pointed out that the Pulse nightclub mm -hmm. mass murder down in Florida, I guess? Orlando. I forget. Yeah. yeah, Orlando. Uh, that was committed by a Muslim guy. Mm -hmm. o was it Omar Mateen? That sounds His father right. His showed father up at a Hillary Clinton rally Hillary. later. <laughs> rally, rally. Yeah. And uh, he shot up the place, and mm -hmm. they thought that it was an anti gay hate crime. Right. And they were speculating that he may have been struggling with those feelings they don't know mm -hmm. and it turned out that he was just mad at american policy mm -hmm. and it wasn't anything to do with the gays yeah. or not he right. just went into a club where he was i don't know in his vicinity right and shot right. up and he was all mad about the according to his stated motive he was mad about the air raids in syria mm -hmm. or something like that yeah was it during, that sounds about right i forget um, it was during the obama administration going during the 2016 campaign i want to say or go right, going right up into it. It had to be because I recall going to Orlando, flew into Orlando, and my daughter and I drove past. So it might have been 2016 when this okay. when we passed by. Yeah, that time. And I went before the election. Yeah, before the election, it had to be. Yeah. Um, we drove by, um, and you know, it still had a, it was like a vigil or whatnot. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So time frame, I think it was around that time. Yeah. yeah. And so all this fake news, and somebody else pointed out that the, there was an, this other thing that they created a hate crimes in his name, I think. Matthew Shepard, this guy who was allegedly, like, lynched or stuck to a fence and killed and maybe tortured. Matthew Shepard, I think it was. I think it might have been a story. And that was, there was, a, there was fake news around that, too. But they used it to smear the Christians, to smear uh, the right. people who are not for this, uh, this insanity. Uh, yeah. Wow. Hate crimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon Strzok said about this, uh, the left will abandon every ridiculous principle they beat people over the head with the moment it becomes disadvantageous. Just mm. like with the race thing. Mm. Oh, don't talk about... Point out race when a white does something to a black. When a white cop does something to a black so-called victim. But ignore race when a black <laughs> does something to a, a black or an Asian or a yeah. white or anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all these... Ignorant people who call you ignorant say, I don't hear about black on white <laughs> crime. <laughs> when that's the dominant interracial violent crime. Right. Apparently it is now okay to reject somebody's gen so-called gender identity. It's funny because they have us trolling them with their argument and going falling into their yeah. line. Of right, the, right, know. exactly. Whoa, that's so <laughs> transphobic. <laughs> Non-binary phobic. I'm offended by this. Yeah. <laughs> To even proclaim you can tell their true gender just by looking. <laughs> Good point, Brandon Strzok. Right. Yeah. That, and yeah, they say that, um, you know, let them identify as whatever. You're whatever you are. And then this guy says, you know, he can't just do this uh, at any time. Yeah. You know, change his mind when he and wants yes, to you be. Can. Yeah, clearly According you can. According to your, <laughs> right, yeah. your notions. That's what you say. That's your premise. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a. One more of my stories to get to, and then one more of yours, and then calls. Okay. We have 10 minutes to go. Let's see what we can plow through. Um, just still on this transgender kick, clip mm -hmm. 11. Finally, clip 11, guys. <laughs> Been playing every clip but 11. This is from Ian Miles Cheong, still gray mm -hmm. on Twitter. A former Twitter contracted moderator speaks out after being let go. And Drew Hernandez also tweeted this out. This is the kind of person who has been behind the scenes at Twitter, shadow banning all of us. Good riddance. Ian Miles Chong says, is this the, uh, are you surprised that Twitter, 
was run as badly as it was. And here's a little news story clip, clip from a local news story, I can't, maybe KJ, K-O-H-U, or, I forget what it is. Maybe a, a San Francisco news, local news story about this former Twitter contracted moderator. Listen to this. In her San Francisco home, with some moral support from her dog Biscuit, Melissa Engel follows the rapid fire changes at her former employer. On the current Come path, your eyes, kids. I, I just, I'm really, really worried about Twitter's future. On November 12th, she learned she'd been let go first by losing access to her accounts, then an email. She says other former full-time employees have told her they had to sign an NDA to get their severance benefits. But because she was a contract worker, that doesn't apply to her, so she's speaking out. I'm not given a severance package. I can't, they can't take that away from me. And I think people need to know about this situation. She notes that the absence of employees like Engel who checked content will shape users' experience on Twitter. Those losses of personnel are going to be felt. Just over time, these things build up and the site will become more abusive, more extreme, and less reliable over time. Alyssa Gord, Today in the Bay. Today in the Bay, that's it, local NBC News from the Bay Area in California. You know San Francisco, one of the gay capitals of California. Uh, sorry, kids, I should have told you to cover your eyes <laughs> and adults. Uh, someone in the Twitter replies said, uh, the word she is doing a lot of heavy <laughs> lifting in that news report. <laughs> Man, just shocking. I was going to say Melissa. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ter- poor guy. He- and you know what? They say that transgenders are more conservative than the rest of the LGBTs. You know, the- that guy, uh, Bruce Jenner, mm-hmm. is a so-called Republican oh, Trump supporter. Yeah. Good, and there's yeah. another guy who uh, was the-, the father of that woman who was anti-Trump in the news. And he was he flew the helicopter during the O.J. Simpson chase. Um, oh. And he-, he, like, pretended like he was going to strangle... The based Ben Shapiro, who called him ma'am, and, or sir, <laughs> what about, Katie Turr, Katie Turr's dad, I think, uh, st- Tur- something I Turr, first name. anyway, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, so maybe this trans Twitter contractor was a sensible, uh, woo man, quote unquote woo man, <laughs> what a mess, maybe. So anyway, uh, Twitter is going through changes, and here is the story from Big Bump. Um, Twitter is losing some dead weight, and he shares a Rolling Stone uh, article. Jack White, any of you guys know Jack White? Probably not a Christian. Quits Twitter, calls Elon Musk's Trump reinstatement a a bloop whole move, a bloop whole move. And there's a picture of Jack White. Is that the guy from White Stripes? Yes, sir. So that was a husband-wife duo in the early 2000s, as I recall. Mm-hmm. Early to mid-2000s. Actually, mid to, mid to late 2000s. And he had such catchy songs. I liked his songs. Jack White. <laughs> and is his wife, a, ex-wife? I think they, they became ex, exes. I think they might have divorced, I but they were they still a duo. Yeah. No bass in that band. It was just guitar mm-hmm. and his voice mm-hmm. and sh- her on the drums. It was so catchy. That's- Right. Yeah, everything about him is catchy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were so good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was going away from the Christian music. <laughs> <laughs> that face, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's quitting Twitter? No. Uh, has been. Quitting Twitter. Right. <laughs> we won't miss you. I didn't even know he was still alive. <laughs> I know he, he has been making music lately. But okay. I, I hadn't listened to it anyway. I think yeah. I may have listened to a few things here and there, but... Not much. You were not really into the, although you were into rap, mm-hmm. you weren't really into the black thing really ever, or were you? I may have thought I was a little bit, but not really. No, yeah. no, no, okay. not really. Because no. you went to a black school, yeah. and you, but you weren't really into politics, which is normal for pretty much every young person. Right. And uh, then you pretty early, like in your early 20s, got into Alex Jones mm-hmm. and... Uh, certain points of reality or true yeah. knowledge anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, I, I never, you know, I would be black bias. As right. I would, like, oh, I want, you know, if someone's, you know, has to be black on a team. Yeah. Uh, you know, things like that. Or, you know, why isn't a black person in 
Target. You know, uh-huh. I don't see any blacks in Target or something like that. And um, but nothing more than that. And then that just you know pretty much went away with you know learning different things and realizing yeah how things really work and how the world really is. You had both my, parents growing up married until no? until I was twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then my dad. And then they divorced. Left. But you yeah, were born in. Right. Yeah. Yes. Two married parents. Yeah. My Con- father was in the... Conceived yeah. two married parents. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I was definitely in... Uh, my mother and father were around. Or were married, let me say. And, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. <laughs> so this <laughs> this Jack White, he's black on the... Well, t- very yeah. typical of so-called entertainers. Yeah. All musicians, I say, <laughs> are liberals. And, he, and Big Bum says he's not a musician. He's a rapper. Rap is not music. <laughs> so that's why he's a conservative. Right, exactly. Or, or maybe not a conservative, a uh, non, non-liberal, that's for sure. Non-liberal. I'm a conservative. I'll say conservative for sure. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> for JLP sure. says if you have anger, you're a liberal. If you don't have anger, you're a conservative. Right, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so right on. Yeah, so what's funny is he, him calling Elon Musk's Trump re- and I didn't read the article at all. I just read the headline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Him calling Trump's reinstatement by Elon Musk on Twitter, who took over Twitter recently, an a-hole move. Mm-hmm. I think it was a a hole move to remove <laughs> Trump from Twitter. Yeah, it was righting the wrongs uh-huh. to yeah. put his Twitter back. I don't like the poll thing, but yeah, you know, just bring him. Oh, back. you didn't like yeah. the poll? <laughs> Not really. No, I, I retweeted I thought it. Was cute. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like hey. Yeah. Free speech. If you're free speech, let them back on. Right. You know? um, but yeah, the poll was just weird. Do but you think maybe, Trump will tweet? It would be cool again? if he did. He would break the internets. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, I to would. To see if it happens. Yeah. You know, we're getting into the last minutes of this show. Oh. Wow. And I lost my call. I was going to get to Rick in Maine. Thank you, Rick. What, you know what? We're out of time. We got to get to, we have to end on time. So let's play this whole song all the way through. Thank you for hosting. Oh, no uh, thank you for co-hosting with me. Sure thing. Hassan says the sh- the poll was to prove that the people love him, hmm. and that's yeah, that's true. That's a good good word. Yeah. Hassan also says that the uh, mass murder down in Pulse nightclub in Orlando was June 2016. That makes oh, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah exactly. Anyway, uh, promote your stuff, uh, Big Bump, and introduce your song that we're about to play. If you remember the title, I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Big Bump. B I. Two G's, B I G G B U M P, or B I G G underscore B U M P. Um, Twitter, True Social, Instagram, uh, Minds, Gab, wherever, SoundCloud, uh, YouTube, B I G G B U M P. This song is uh, called It's Just Dreams. I think that's the name of it, right? Yeah. Um, it was on my uh, first album I recorded in 2014. Um, it has some stuff with my daughter in it, some voices, and then my wife at the end of the song. Nice. <laughs> calling me while I was in the studio at the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was uh, from the Ways of, Ways of the World. And it's W-E-I-G-H-S, yes. Ways. Yeah. And uh, last quick couple announcements, Bond-related. We are not having a, the radio show or the, Je- or the Hake Report tomorrow, the Jesse Lee Peterson show or the Hake Report tomorrow, Friday. But there will be Nick's stream, if you believe it. And then, of course, church on Sunday, uh, rebuildingtheman.com slash church. And no fallen state, I don't believe, but we have taken down the wall. <laughs> and JLP fired us for uh, the horrible idea of putting the uh, paywall up. <laughs> oh, the paywall going down on the, on the fallen state. So you can now watch and enjoy and share with friends and family over the holidays. Anyway, here is Big Bump. Is a uh, song is just dreams. Thanks, guys. Adios, America, and take care. See you Monday and Sunday.
was never in it for the money or the clothes Cars or the hoes He just wanted to be known for rocking out shows Only spit from experience and that made him different Only picked up this pen and pad as a way to vent He got his chance to move the crowd Freshman year of college Had to brush up on his skills Wordplay wasn't polished Football took second place and came the first loser Or had it always been the case Cause he loved music Granny in the choir Mom's got mad vocals Uncle played with Sam and Dave Pop music was soulful You can say music's embedded in his DNA Created a crew with his roommates and dropped a mixtape It generated a little buzz Momentum was on the up But wait, now they don't stay in touch And ain't no telling what could have been or should have been And how you live in the past when you become a man Now he's back at it again and ready for round two What's got him back in the lab with a chosen few Back from hiatus and bound to be a crowd favorite Took a step back so low could finish haters favorite But he's gotta know where to put his priorities Cause his family needs him like his music family Eager to make his presence felt to the non-believers Anxious but his patience will make him an overachiever Flex his muscles in the booth in this attack mode Down diagonal forward punches the attack code He's vicious, he spits his venom with precision Don't diss him, you don't wanna see him in the third dimension But that's not his intentions, wants to be more uplifting Using his art to send a message, it's more of a vision He just did it for the love, cause he used to love her He just does it for the love, that burning hunger Uh, this is what they seem like. Uh, uh, this is what they seem like. Uh, uh, this is what they seem like. Uh, uh, this is what they seem like.